Hey guys, Game Prime here. Welcome to Friday. Oh, was today the day? Kind of just snuck up on me. You are right. Yeah, I know you want to see him every day. Why can't he be gone? I feel so sick. There's still so many things I wanted to talk to him about. Why can't he just say forever? What am I supposed to do? You're really a serious case. Seems like you aren't alone. It's pretty popular with the girls. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Sure. Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Oh, that's right. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you, so you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maruki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I've come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies. In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. It's okay. What? Um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone. Oh. <laughs> I guess things don't always pan out like you expect. Well, that's it. Thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. I wanted to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Mm-hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise anyhow. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I ordered the deluxe bowls for us. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. All right, let's eat. No words for how delicious this smells. Ooh, this aroma's really triggered my appetite. Too bad I can't see anything now. The life of the four eyes. I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. I 
wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. Congratulations. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. And as a phantom thief as well. What do you mean? Huh. So you're not denying it. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? It says interpreting reality through cognitive signs and the alteration of reality via external influence. You know, the Phantom Thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target, a reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of heart you induce in your targets. You really know your stuff. Well, I did pour my heart and soul into this research for a number of years. To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April, when I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students. I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you. Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Thanks. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Why'd you keep quiet? Hmm. Well... I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition, so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? Well, we made a deal. A deal, eh? Well, I'm awfully grateful you see it that way. And just so you know, I have no intention of telling anyone about this. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though, it'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. We all define justice differently. Indeed. You have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, thank you for everything up to this point. I am thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. 
Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power. Maruki, confidant, rank 10. Wakefulness raises the SP recovered from mindfulness. All right. All right. You can now fuse Vohu Mana, the most powerful persona of the Counselor Arcana. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again, though, right? I'm sure of it. That's right. Hey! No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. Hand sights on fire as usual. Anyways, tomorrow's finally it. Hope everyone, hope everyone remembers. The date of our plan? Of course we remember. That means we're sending out the calling card today, right? Yes, today is our only option. The police have yet to actually make a move, but I am certain we have reached our limits. We wanted to wait as long as possible to make Makoto's sister panic, right? Yes, taking that into account, today would be the best option. we we'll speak more in detail about this after school. Alright, see you at LeBlanc. to drink as much coffee as we want. Ain't this place always empty, though? That's rude. You're right. Let's just call it a hidden gem. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Sai San's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method, no matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? I trust her with it. Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yep, got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed! Okay. Tomorrow's finally the day. The day. All that stuff is to carry out the operation that Makoto outlined earlier. Now we just need to hand it over as long as we get it to Nijima. To Nijima. I can't talk, man. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense. They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them. Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. 
It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Let's do this fair and square. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis... I'm on your side. I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> What an odd girl. Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not. Yes. I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Okay. Hurry to have going out tonight. We need to prepare for tomorrow. Sorry for the wait. I believe it went well. Thanks, Mako-chan. It's all going according to plan. So it has finally come to this. I actually feel somewhat nervous. Don't forget about so much that you screw up, all right? If you're one to talk, I ask that you go easy on me. Well then, see you tomorrow. Hold on a sec. Crow, go over the operation again before you leave. This is just as we discussed earlier, is it not? This battle will decide our future. We must ensure we're fully prepared beforehand. Very well. Our objective is stealing Saison's treasure. We will meet approximately at 6 p.m. at the courthouse. I can't read today, man. Good. Wanna give us one last world before we go, leader? Let's be careful. We'll be relying on you. What a wonderful, trusting relationship. I will do my best in this as well. Alright. We can't afford any mistakes, especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us, so let's give it our all. Oh boy. So tomorrow is the day. Can't go out. Let's make some curry. I see. Making curry for tomorrow? That's not a bad idea. Make sure you close up. Careful with the stove. Seems to be going well so far. By the way, who's that brown stuff you added? Let me explain. Chocolate and salt. Small amounts can be added to curry to enhance spices, giving it a deep, rich flavor. Be careful not to add too much, though. In excess amounts, chocolate will destroy the delicate flavor balance of the curry. Wow, chocolate. Wait, wouldn't that make it taste super, super, super sweet? You throw it all together with such gusto. Who cares? Nice, the curry's smelling good. It'll definitely be a hit. Yes! Alright. Oh! You look awfully proud of yourself. Two decent curry. Well then. That's gonna be it for me today, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you tomorrow for a very big day.